All right. First fish of the morning here in Dog River. Just a, caught a nice speckled trout. I ran into some bad luck this morning. <clears throat> My prop ended up breaking off. Half of it did, so I'm kind of handicapped here this morning. But the tide is dead low this morning and it's slowly starting to come in. The water temperature is around 74 degrees. But the speckled trout are here in Dog River. Not much bird action happening. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of scouting this morning to see if the trout have moved into the river. And it looks like they're starting to move in here. All right, we're going to let this guy go. See if we can catch another one. Alright guys, so look at this. That part of the blade right there has broken. Um, hit a log uh, when my bait got stuck and just completely shattered it. But it's still usable for right now. We're gonna move a little bit farther up in the river, see if there's anything going on up there. There's birds starting to touch, you know, on the water over here. And so the trout are here, they're just really spread out because the water's so warm, so it's kind of hard to find them. But we're gonna keep bouncing around a little bit today and um, see if we can catch some more. Oh yeah, got a good trout. Uh, had this boat just come right up on me. As I was fishing this point, look at that trout though. Good solid trout. Nice. Nice fish right there. Beautiful speckled trout. Keep this one for some fish tacos, but beautiful speckled trout on the pea mint. So, I, one thing I knew to do to come back here was I checked the salinity of the water before I came back here. Like, I, actually, when I came back out here, and the salinity was like at 20 parts per thousand. So, even though it's not very cold right now the trout have followed the bait all the way back here in the river so guys get out here go fishing even though it's not cold the specks are far in the rivers and that's what i did today i haven't heard any fishing reports about anybody catching any fish um today or back here in the rivers and got out here i said all right i'm gonna make my own fishing report today and see if they're all the way back here. By the time you start hearing that the fish are back here, it's already too late. They've been back here for a while. <coughs> so we're going to see if we can catch another one and um, keep on fishing and keep trying these spots out. Whew, it got so hot, I had to take off my frog togs. It is definitely a warm day today. But what I was talking about earlier is I got this hydrometer right here and um, when I came back here, first thing I did was went ahead and dipped it in the water and, and wanted to see how much salinity was back here because if it was really fresh, I wasn't going to come back here and fish. But you can see it's right around like 18 parts per um, thousand here, the specific gravity and the salinity hertz per thousand right around 18 so that's a good sign so that trout can come all the way back here uh, i've been in salinity as low as like 10 and 6 and still cotton trout after a good rainstorm but anything lower than six um, in my opinion it's it's been hard to catch them so i try to look around that six and five and we're at 20 so definitely um has the potential to have trout back here and like you saw we did catch one i'm gonna fish a little bit longer i'm gonna go over here i'm starting to see a lot of bait working along here 
and we're going to start moving that way. I just can't move really fast because my trolling motor is broken, but um, we're going to keep on moving and see if we can get another one. Oh, missed him. And had just one on right there. And came off. Got one. All the way back here. In the very far back, what is this bad boy? A little white trout. A little white trout. Ooh. They have moved all the way back in the river to be this far back. Looks like he's been caught before. All right, let this little guy go. Got a fish on the sinking dime. Another little baby white trout. Whoo, small guy. It's probably only a couple days maybe for the trout being back here. You got white trout back here. No reason why you can't have a speckled trout. The salinity back here is right at nine. When we're out on the main river, it was like at 20. So there's enough salinity back here to be holding these fish. Just gotta entice one of the big speckled trout to bite. Got myself another white trout. They're in here thick. Tell you what, these little white trout are fun. Me and Bryce have not had a lot of opportunities to go fishing because we have been in soccer and just school and church and everything's just been really busy as a parent. So we haven't been out on the water and that's why we haven't been making that much videos. We did get out a couple of times and fish Mobile River and were able to find some really good speckled trout on Mobile River. Here, we'll, we'll skip over to that real quick and uh, take a look at me and Bryce fishing in Mobile River. Oh, just got a big one, guys. Just got a big trout. Get the net, Bryce. This is a big boy right here. Oh! Oh yeah. Get it! Yes! Oh no, he came out. Yes! All right. Yes! Woo! <laughs> that keeping it? Nice speckled trout. That keeping it? That's a big one. We might let that one go so he can make babies. We're gonna measure them though. Gotta get the measure thing. Oh. I will get it, okay. Whew. Look at that fish right there. It's probably a, a solid. 23 inch speckled trout. All right, put it down, we'll measure it. Dad. Two inches. What? Twenty inches? Yeah, twenty-two inches. 
we're gonna keep them. He's just right at 22. So the GoPros. Dad, Dad! I see it. The GoPros cut off earlier, so we actually got three speckled trout back here. So those are the three speckled trout we've caught so far. So the secret we found out in fishing in Mobile River was having a fallen tide and that bait was just kind of ripping through all that structure that we were fishing and we had gopro problems and we end up catching a good amount of speckled trout i think it was like five speckled trout we end up catching for the day and that was bryce's birthday fishing trip and we had a blast out there oh i just had another bite these little white trout are um, pretty aggressive they hit like they're maybe a speckled trout but um once you actually set the hook, there's not much to them. Got another. Oh, we're getting a little tail walking. All right, I think we're going to move. Look at that. That's a little baby bass. Oh, uh, uh, the speckled trout. More oh, baby bass hit that. I mean, I thought it was a white trout. Make them look big. Boom. Bass and Dog River, guys. Oh, yeah. Right at the boat. Oh, he hit it. A little speckled trout. Missed them like three times. And it seems like they're right, right at the boat like literally right here they're not too much out there but they're actually like right at the boat Ooh, there he goes see if we can get another one really don't you have to cast it that far because they're they're like literally right at the boat the current is pushing um in now the turret's coming in and to keep the bait down i'm putting the rod tip all the way down in the water and to keep it getting some action, I'm just kind of popping it and reeling it. Not really a hard pop, but it just keeps the bait down against this current. The current's moving pretty good. Ooh, just had another bite. My trolling motor was working good. I'd back up. There he is. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. I mean, they're literally right at the boat. I'm gonna call it a day at that. We had a good day of fishing today. You know, I've always been told that it has to get cold to start fishing in the river as well. The last three years, guys, I found out it's really not. I mean, about October, once once the water temperature gets around like 75, 74, the trout, I found out, have started moving in the rivers. Now, they're not thick. They're not like in November and December when they're really bunched up because it's so cold out and they're really together. They're really spread out, but they've actually already moved in the river. Now you can catch some still at the mouth of the rivers, but we caught them all the way as far back as, um, what is that, Montlamar Creek back there. So the trout are in the rivers, and if they're here, that also means they're in Fowl River too. So guys, get out there, go fishing. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry it's been so long for us to put one out. It's just life has been busy, guys, and I'm sure y'all understand that. And I'll see you on the water.